story of the day is uh, getting word that Michael is in the building. Mm -hmm. um, I assume you have not got a chance to see him yet, or if you have, what was it like? Well, for the most part, he is here, and uh, you know, David's statement the other day that, that we put out is pretty much what we're going to go with. And again, it's you know, it's something that we're we're keeping in house right now. So can you go ahead and summarize your observations from today's OT? I was very pleased with it. You know, today's a culmin uh, the next three practices or next two practices, including this one as well, is really a culmination of, of what we've done through the OTAs. And, and the mini camp's a chance for us to really go back, start from, from, from square one and see how many uh, of our young guys have really retained the things that we've needed to, to teach them. And, and I thought, again, it was, it was very good. I was really pleased with the things that uh, our young guys did out there. You know, for the vets, it was old hat and, uh, and it's exactly what I saw. Those guys competed, did a great job for us. Um, but again, the nice thing is watching these young guys do the things that they need to do. Ron, I understand it's Dave's deal. I also understand you don't talk on concussion protocol, but on a personal level, have you spoken with Michael? Do you know kind of where he's at? No, I haven't had an opportunity yet, but again, you know, it's it's something that, you know, we're taking care of. Any sort of encouragement on your part that, he, that he's in town? He's in town. You mentioned the younger guys being out here. Is it tough? not getting Christian out here? Yes, it is. It's very tough because, you know, uh, we believe he can become an integral part of what we want to do on the offensive side. So, you know, hopefully we'll get that opportunity when he, um, you know, when he does arrive to see exactly where he fits for us. You know, been uh, been very excited about, you know, the, the communications he's had with Coach Skipper, you know, as, as they as they continue to install. You know, that's the hard part is, you know, we can just do that. Uh, but he's, you know, Coach Skipper says he's been great. He's been very attentive and, and, and he's very anxious to be here. So we're looking forward to seeing him on Thursday. So Ron can't throw him next week then? Huh? Is it, is it, Cam's going to do exactly what I told you guys. If you guys listen to my entire statement last week, he's going to do exactly what the trainers have him do. Were you hopeful that he could throw over here? I am hopeful. <laughs> hey, Ron, Daryl uh, just talked about how he's, Daryl Worley just talked about how he's hard on himself and he's self-scouting because he understands how much quarterbacks were kind of looking their chops on those two young guys last year. Uh, what, what improvements have you seen from him and, and James? Oh, I tell you, the, the young corners have done a really nice job. They really have. I, I think the coaches have worked very hard with them. Um, you know, they've done a lot of good things in terms of working on their techniques, uh, working on their ability to, to, to play the different coverages that we have. I've uh, been very pleased with the effort that we've got from, from, from not just those two, but the other young guys that are out there doing some things. And, and, and I think it's kind of neat to have a, an old Wiley vet like Captain out there helping him as well. I would just summarize what you've been seeing from the wide receivers. Um, growth. I mean, and I, I really do mean that. Um, Kelvin looks solid. He really does, but you see him continue to grow. He, he's still a young player. We forget that. Uh, you know, we forget that last year he was coming off of, of an ACL, and we expect so much from him. I, I thought Devin has taken a, a big step. Um, you know, he picked up pretty much where he left off in terms of his work ethic, and, and that's good to see. And uh, we got a whole group of young guys that, that have really stepped, uh, you know, taken another big step. And, you know, it, it's going to be fun to watch in terms of the, the competition that we have at that position. It seems like we don't go a day in OTAs or minicamp without seeing a big play from Russell Shepard or Austin Duke. Well, I tell you, those, those guys really do compete and they're doing a really nice job. You know, I, I think that, you know, we've got some young guys that are competing for opportunities. Um, and we're excited about it. As far as Russell's concerned, he's a veteran guy that we, we felt was on the cusp. And you know, those are the kind of guys you look for in free agency that, that have, you know, have, have been three, four years in the league. You know, they're free agents. They're, they're right on the cusp of taking the next step. And we really feel he's one of those kind of guys. Ron, where would you place Greg Olson among the tight ends in this league? Oh, I, I, I think he's right at the top. I, I really do. And I'm really excited about who he is for us. He's done a great job since he's been here. Every year he's, he's had a great year. Um, and you know, we, we, we just expect him to continue to be that guy for us. Ron, this is the first time we've gotten to see Julius out here. What's it been like having him back? I know he's was with you guys for some OTAs. Well, it's good having him out here. And, and again, you know, once we got to the point where, you know, he had some soreness and stuff like that, we just felt what we do is, you know, we let the trainers handle it, let them take care of him, keep him conditioned, um, keep him working at, 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 at getting better um, in terms of his skill sets. Uh, the nice thing he's also done, he's been in all the meetings. So just having him out on the, on the, on the, on the practice field, I think it's just a culmination again of, of what we've gone through with the OTAs. But it's good seeing him around and, 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 and out here on the field. Greg had Foster out there with him today. Can you just talk a little bit about that? And well, it's kind of neat because, you know, one of the things that we, we support out here is, is the Make-A-Wish uh, Foundation. And, you know, Greg, Greg's our, you know, our man of the year, um, our Walter Payton man of the year. And, and he's just, you know, he, he's tremendous with, 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 uh, with young Foster. It was kind of nice having a young man who's, who's battling leukemia right now. Um, but, again, we want to make sure also our other players realize and recognize and understand how important it is that we give back to the community that supports us. 
Um, and, and again, it's just something that we feel very strong about. And uh, it, it's, it's good to see the young man running around and, and enjoying himself. Ron, is, uh, is everything okay with Curtis Samuel? Saw him working on the side a little bit. The same, same as last week. You know, we're just, we're just, you know, bringing him along. We, we don't want to put him out there in a situation where something could happen in terms of, you know, re-injuring it. But again, as far as we're concerned, you know, he's uh, he's doing the things that he needs to as far as the meetings and learning and growing. And you know, he's another young man that we feel could be part of what we want to do. Ron, I don't know that we've asked you what a receiver Charles Johnson is dealing with. Um, yeah. Don't have to give you an update on that, okay? So I'm, I'm not going to talk specifically about that. Mike Adams says he doesn't know how he's running around there still like he's an 18-year-old. What does he bring to this defense? Well, I, I wouldn't give him 18. I might say 27. But, <laughs> um, he's, 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 he's bringing that, that veteran, that Wiley veteran um, attitude out there. He's really helping us with a lot of uh, development of these, of these young corners. You know, he's, he's a veteran guy. He's been through a lot. He's been in a lot of situations where he's learned, uh, you know, how to do things, and he's He's showing our young guys how to be a, how to be a pro. Seems like he's also rubbing off on some of the receivers, um, like Devin Punches. Oh, very much so. It was really neat to watch the receivers ask him, you know, what do you see, you know, how, how do you feel about this? And, and I think that helps. I mean, again, you know, you might as well ask the guys that you're going against for some feedback. And that's what he's been doing. He's been giving some feedback to our young guys. Ron, the original Charles Johnson. Um, again, Our just, surgery, yeah, he's still, he's still, you know, working along, doing the things that he needs to. Um, and uh, he's, uh, he, you know, he's, he's right on track. We're excited about him. Coach, aside from Demir Bird's speed, what are just some of the other things that you guys like enough to keep inviting him back, keep having him around? Well, Demir showed us last year what he's capable in the Tampa Bay game. You know, he made, he made a couple of big catches in, in, in some tough situations, uh, returned a, a, a kickoff for us. And, uh, and, and with that kind of speed, if he can hit a seam at the right time, he can make a big play. Demir is also a very smart football player, a young man, knows pretty much all of our receiver positions. So he's a guy that's earned the opportunity to be around her and compete for a job this year. Well, Cam, what, what has encouraged you the most about his rehab? Well, I, I just think him being around. You know, it, it's, it's, it's fun to watch him, you know, stay engaged, be part of what we're doing. Um, and you can see the, uh, the excitement in his voice as he sees things happen. He sees guys making plays. You know, he sees the growth in our, in our wide receiver position. He sees, sees you know, what we're doing in terms of the running game. And, 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 and hopefully once we get Christian out of here, he'll see how we're trying to incorporate Christian into what we want to do. Christian seems like he's around. Is he trying to spend as much time with these guys as he can? Is he in Charlotte right now? No, he's not. Actually, what happened last week was you know, Christian had come in to, to, to sign his lease and get his place set up. Um, but he had to fly back out on Sunday, which he did. Um, you know, Check with the league to make sure it was it was it was okay, and uh, he came out and was part of one of the charity events that we ran, and uh, he got a chance to be around his guys. So it was it was good to have him here, even though it was just for the weekend. Um, but again, we'll we'll see him, uh, I believe, sometime tomorrow night when he lands, or or early uh, Wednesday morning or Thursday morning, or something yeah, like that. There seemed to be some confusion on that point. I guess the 49ers were thinking initially Solomon Thomas would be available Wednesday when he's on the same quarter system as Christian. Did yep. you get some clarity? We, we were we were in the same position too, so. Uh, apparently, what what they have to do is, is the day is their last uh, finals. The day they're allowed to travel, um, and so we won't we won't see him until uh, until Thursday. How efficient do you have to structure his his practice on on Thursday to make sure he's just fitting in seamlessly? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to find out right off the bat <laughs> where he fit. No, and, and being serious because again, he's he's been working with Coach Coach Skipper on you know we're allowed to, to I guess to to, to FaceTime. And so they've been FaceTiming um, um, later in the evening, uh, going over game planning and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and, and from what I understand, he's done a nice job. So it, you know, it'd be good for us to see exactly how his retention is. Is one day long enough to have an on-field no. eyeball test? <laughs> it's not. It really isn't. But uh, I think for what we want to do, um, and back to Jordan's question, is you know, a lot of things that we will do on Wednesday will be stuff that we believe he can do for us. Um, so we'll see how it, how it fits for him and how we can incorporate him. You were in Chicago over the weekend. What was that experience like? It was nice. I, my, my godson graduated, so uh, we had an opportunity to go out and, uh, and, and visit with him. And we coupled it with a visit to the Cubs and, and got a chance to throw out the first pitch. Um, captain told me he thought it was a ball. I told him I thought it was a strike. And <laughs> I also challenged Captain that I'd strike him out, so we'll see if that happens. Ron, you, at this point in your career, probably don't get starstruck at all, but seeing the, the Cubs the World Series. Oh, I still get starstruck. I, I really do. There, there's, there's a... There's a there's something special about you know being at a place like a Wrigley. It's like going probably going to Fenway. It really is because th those are iconic places um, in sports history, and, and, and it's really kind of a neat thing. You know, I'm, I've got to go to the old stadium in Chicago before they tore that down, and I played in Old Soldier Field. So, 
um, it's a little bit of history and it was a lot of fun. Is that the first time you've done that at Wrigley or anywhere? Oh, no, I've done it at Wrigley and uh, I've done it at Comiskey, so I, I had a chance to do that. Did you get nervous? No, no, it was, it's, it's easy to do. The hardest thing I've done is uh, shooting free throws at the Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've asked you before, did you, have, did you ever do the uh, take me out to the ball game? Yes, that I did uh, 2004, I think, but uh, that was a lot of fun. You know, it's such a, such a neat place to be, and uh, there's a lot of baseball history there.